नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ट्रयाजिंग The word triage comes from military, medical context. Basically, when soldiers are in, injured in war, they look at uh, who is dying, who is uh, somewhat okay, even if they are seriously injured. So they look at uh, whether they can really save uh, a dying person. If yes, they will pick that person to treat them when the doctors are in shortage. Yeah. And uh, if they know that a certain person may not really live, yeah, in spite of the treatment, they may not treat that person. Yeah. So there are some some of their own ways to do it in the military again um, so leaving that aside it's about identifying the most urgent work and get on with it now urgency may be based on several uh, factors usually impact uh, does uh, um, come uh, play a big role in urgency uh, whether a certain uh, task has high impact or less impact if it's a high impact it usually becomes more urgent and at the same time once the urgent work is under control there should be focus on the medium priority work also we can't just uh, uh, ignore it and uh, once the urgent and the medium priority is taken care of then only the low priority work will be done yes this is uh, quite logical and uh, usually this is done uh, in agile when you have the backlogs uh, sprint backlogs for uh, features let's say there are 50 50 features to be developed so we pick up the the most urgent one in the first sprint we may pick up maybe 20 of those features in the first uh, two weeks of the sprint then in the next two weeks of the sprint we may pick some other 15 features um, which are coming afterwards in the priority same can be done for the incident queues and therefore uh, we don't leave anything unattended because even the users who uh, who have very low priority who come up with low priority work will expect their request to be fulfilled eventually so triaging is one way yes so and the other way is to swarm swarming so we touched on swarming briefly earlier Uh, swarming was actually uh, maybe pioneered by Cisco in uh, somewhere around 2008 eventually it was um, refined by a consortium they known as consortium for service innovation they also have a website consortium for service innovation it's actually www.serviceinnovation.org org and uh, what happens here is um, it's an alternative to tiered support a very simply said it's not about level 1 level 2 level 3 support teams but it's or escalation from one level to another it's about it's an alternative to that and uh, usually tiered support has the following issues in tiered support there are multiple queues there are some tickets being handled by level 1 some by level 2 some by level 3 and there can be some confusion and accumulation of work and uh, progress have to be tracked properly for the different queues and because there are multiple queues with mul different groups of people it may increase the time to get to the right person for example if i am level 1 i may have to think should i escalate to database group or a network group or a security information security group and so on therefore work may bounce between those multiple groups i first pass it on to the database uh, function they investigate and tell me back that sorry this is not from our area then i send it to the network function then they come back and tell me sorry this is not from our area and they might say this might be from the information security area so it keeps bouncing back and also what's happening sometimes um, in fact many times the level 1 team may not because usually the level 1 may not know whom to escalate because they don't have the right skills the in depth skills they are more on the customer side they have the right emotional intelligence the communication skills and so on but not the technical expertise so that's another challenge so escalation may be incorrect unless if somebody tells them hey you must escalate to the database that's the correct team then it is work, working better therefore um, and also sometimes information may not have been collected if i am level 1 and i am escalating to level 2 they may come back and tell me hey you didn't give me that information give me some more information talk to the user again and fetch some more information so some time is lost again apart from escalation to the wrong team 
and uh, sometimes what happens let's say there are too many incidents in one area only they can become overwhelmed therefore sir sometimes the specialists who are actually supposed to be more busy with training or uh, design and so on they may become eventually tied up only with incidents so that can become a bottleneck in 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 this value stream or in some other value stream 